A leaked drone video is sparking new concerns that China is harshly targeting ethnic Muslims. The disturbing footage appears to show hundreds of detainees in Western China bound and blindfolded. CNN's Matt Rivers spoke with two former detainees who described the abuses they say they, they faced in similar camps. Row by row, there are hundreds of them, seated on the ground, heads shaved, blindfolded. Their hands are bound behind their backs as dozens of guards hover in SWAT uniforms. It's unclear who these prisoners are, but Western intelligence sources tell CNN they believe the video is authentic, that it shows Muslim ethnic minorities, and that the video was shot in Xinjiang, China. Xinjiang is the western Chinese region where the government has detained hundreds of thousands of Muslims over the past several years, according to the United States. Detainees are almost exclusively ethnic minorities, including Uyghurs, who have lived in the region for generations, now housed in massive camps like this one that we saw firsthand on a trip to Xinjiang in March. We were followed by police every moment of our six-day journey. Multiple ex-detainees and a former camp employee have told CNN that torture and political indoctrination are rampant inside the camps. Critics say Beijing has rounded up minorities arbitrarily and in mass in a blatant attempt to destroy their cultures and wipe out Islam within its borders. Beijing has repeatedly denied that, saying the camps are merely, quote, vocational training centers designed to counter Islamic extremism in Xinjiang, which has seen terrorist attacks in the past. A Western intelligence source tells CNN their analysis of the video posted online anonymously last month shows detainees transferred by train. Analysis by the Australian Strategic Policy Institute suggests the video was shot in the city of Korla in August 2018. In response, the Xinjiang government said in a statement to CNN, quote, cracking down on crimes in accordance with law is the common practice of all countries. Xinjiang's crackdown on crimes has never been linked to ethnicities or religions. Transporting inmates by judicial authorities belongs to normal judicial activities. But two men, one in the Netherlands and one in Kazakhstan, say the activity is anything but normal and that the video is terrifyingly familiar because they lived through something similar. Amanjan Said, a Muslim ethnic Kazakh, says he was detained in China in 2018, never told what for. Held in his first camp for several weeks, he says he was transferred to another, exactly as shown in the video. We were made to sit just like that, he says. They put cuffs on our hands and legs and masks over our heads. Lots of police were there with guns. He was released after several months and now lives in Kazakhstan, a country on China's western border. While detained, he says the fear of what might happen was the worst. Watching the video, I'm still scared because I know what the prisoners are thinking. They don't know where they're being taken or if they'll be shot dead. It's terrifying. There are no publicly known instances of shooting deaths inside the camps. More than 3,000 miles away, Omarbek Bakali, another Muslim Kazakh, knows how it feels to be scared in custody. He lives in the Netherlands now after being detained in a Chinese camp for months in 2017. He claims he was tortured regularly and describes the camps as hell. I think the reason they want to torture us is, firstly, to make us physically weak so that you cannot resist. Bikali says though he was transferred between camps by car, he too had a bag placed over his head and his hand shackled. Watching the drone video, he's overcome with emotion. <laughs> I feel so sad, he says, that used to be me. I cannot forget that. It's criminal. Beijing did not respond to questions about the allegations from both men. CNN cannot independently verify the authenticity of this video or the date it was shot. Prisoners in China are regularly transported wearing blindfolds, and it's unclear whether the men are being held for criminal offenses or for other reasons. But this drone video does not exist in a vacuum. Rather, it is a singular piece of a swiftly mounting body of evidence, including first-hand accounts, that shows China is persecuting people in Xinjiang simply because they are Muslim, committing human rights abuses in the process. Matt Rivers, CNN.